Today we're going to show you how to turn the Omni HD antenna on and get the TV set up for the local channels where you're currently camping at. We go inside the rear cabinet to turn the Omni HD antenna on and then we will lower the TV and do a channel search. Once we have the antenna turned on, we'll simply turn the TV on. Now it's important that the TV is in the right mode. Uh, if it's already set up into a different mode, you can't do a channel search unless it is set up for TV. We'll give it a moment to power the TV up. All right, now that the TV is on, what we will push is the menu button on the TV remote. We will scroll over to channel. Now, if for some reason you get into the menu and you cannot get it to go to channel, that does mean that you are in the wrong mode. We'll go over the modes here shortly. Once you're in channel, you definitely want to make sure that here for air cable, it is set up for air. Uh, now, if you're at a campground and you're connected to the cable outside the camper, then of course you'd want to do the cable. We'll go down here to the auto scan feature and go ahead and tell it to start the scan. Now we just have to wait and to see what the antenna is going to pick up where we're currently located. Now those channels, you may get nothing if you're too far out and away from any local stations. Uh, you may get up to 20 different channels. Uh, it all just depends on where you're located. Now that we have our TV channels, what we want to do is set up our sound. If you're unable to get TV sound through to the radio speakers, what you'll want to do is go into the settings of the TV. We're going to do that now. The first step is to take the TV remote and press the menu button. Once inside the menu button, we'll want to go first to the audio. Scroll down to where it says TV speaker and you'll need to turn the TV speakers to off. All right. Once you have the TV speaker off, you'll press the menu button again. That places you back into the main menu. You'll scroll over to setup and you'll need to go down to where it says audio out. This needs to be set to fixed. Once you're set to fixed, you can simply press the exit button and get out of the menu settings of the TV. Now, at this time, we'll need to go back to the radio, set the radio up so that the sound comes through the speakers. Let's go over to the radio. First step at the radio, of course, we'll want to go ahead and turn it on. Once we turn it on, we'll want to see what mode it's currently in. It's in FM. For the TV sound, we're going to have to go to auxiliary input two. Then you can simply adjust the volume of the TV with the TV, there are several different modes. You'll want to make sure you're in the correct mode according to what you're wanting to do with the TV. Now on the remote, there's a button labeled source. The source button actually scrolls through the different modes of the TV. The TV is the mode that will need to be used for the Omni HD antenna. You can simply continue to press the source button scrolling through the different modes. The HDMI is actually run up into the rear cabinet and utilized if you want to plug in your own Blu-ray player or some other type of player that you can run through the HDMI cable. Pretty much everything else should run through just the TV source. Now, of course, every Oliver Camper comes standard with a DVD player inside the radio, but as soon as you put the DVD in the radio, it should automatically change the source of the TV and start to play the DVD for you. If it does not, that source would be the AV cables. The others are currently unused, however, you can definitely hook some other type of accessory up if you have it and utilize the other sources available. We're going to take a look at the Jensen DVD radio player in your Oliver Camper. Now, of course, the power button is pretty simple. You power the radio on, it comes on, it's going to go back into whatever mode it was previously in. Of course, all your different modes are here at the top, AM, FM, 
course your disc, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, and auxiliary. Your auxiliary, of course, is used for the TV, for sound to come through the radio, radio speakers. The Bluetooth, you can Bluetooth any type of device, your phone through the radio, an iPad, uh, USB, you've got this uh, port here. You can actually put songs directly on a USB drive, plug it in, play it through the radio. Uh, you do wanna make sure that those songs are not located within folders, but just songs directly on the drive. Uh, and of course, AM, FM radio. Uh, once you go into the mode that you want, uh, we'll just turn the volume down here for this. Uh, to scan through the radio stations, you would just press and hold the button. It's going to scan until it finds the first uh, station available. You can continue to press and do a scan again. Uh, you can also do just press it one time to jump to each station if you choose. You can also press and hold this ASPS button. What that ASPS button does is wherever you're currently located, it's going to do a complete scan through everything. It's going to find radio stations that are available and preset it to these uh, preset buttons here. Now, the only downside to that is whatever the first six stations found, that's what it's going to apply to those buttons. Once it's run the scan, though, you can go through press and see what different stations it has, see if it's something you like. If it's not, you can actually do the scan yourself. Uh, this currently is set to station six. Say I like it, but I want it to be on station one. I would press, hold the one button. Once it comes up, now I've got the 95.5 set to station one. Uh, and you can continue to do that through all the different modes. Uh, of course, as you travel around, uh, all those stations are always going to be changing for you. Let's take a look at a few other things. You've got zone A, zone B. You can see it here on the display as well. We can actually turn the speakers off. So if you ever have an issue where you have no sound coming from your speakers, just take a look on the display. If there's no A and B, that would be the reason. You just simply turn the speakers back on. The audio should come back in. Now, here across the bottom, Take a look here, you've got audio. You can go in here and set your bass setting, your treble, your balance. Um, go to settings, you can turn the Bluetooth on and off. Uh, this is another little feature of beeps when you push the buttons where it'll beep at you to let you know you've actually pushed it. Uh, a preset volume for when it comes on, it should automatically go to volume set 18. Uh, and then you can perform a reset. You also have a small reset button here that you can use a little pin and do a factory reset on. If you've ever gone in and set the radio up and you can't figure out what setting you changed to create uh, whatever issue is you're having, you can do a reset. Uh, of course here you can go in, set up an alarm, a sleep time if you choose to. Uh, you can do the clock, press and hold, change the clock, set it to whatever. AM, PM as you scroll through, same thing with the minutes. Uh, once you have it set, you can just press a different button and it'll automatically go back and get that set for you. Another neat feature here, the brightness on the display up and down. You can actually press this and lower the brightness. Be careful because you can set it to zero. Uh, it actually looks like the radio is turned off now. However, the radio is still turned on. So if you go hitting the power button, it may start to act funny and do some things that you're not expecting. Make it look like you've got a power issue at the radio or a radio problem when in fact, it's just that you've turned the display completely off. And of course you can turn it all the way up to nine, uh, usually somewhere around four or five is the standard. We've also got an auxiliary one located here. Uh, that's if you have a specific type of cable that plugs into this port and then you can plug it into an iPad, an iPhone, a computer, and then play things directly through that AUX1 port. Uh, of course, at the top, you have your DVD slot. DVD slot's pretty simple. You just pop the DVD in. It should automatically send the information over to the TV. Uh, and then you can control the sound, uh, pause, play, um, skip backwards and forwards, just like a, a typical DVD player. Now that's most of your basic features on your radio. Uh, there are some other features that you can get into with the, the radio remote. 
uh, a little bit more as far as your AM. There's usually an AM one and two. Uh, here you can just tell it to go into AM, so it jumps straight to AM. FM goes to just FM one, FM two, FM three. Um, but that's the pretty much overview of the radio. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you've learned something about your Oliver Travel Trailer and please be sure to check us out online at olivertraveltrailers.com.